What makes a perfume season? What's the difference between designer and niche perfumes? Top notes, base notes, heart notes, what are those? Okay, so what is the difference between a toilet, a parfum, and a cologne? If you've ever been unsure about any of these questions, so keep watching. My name is Emerald C and on my channel, you'll find fragrance reviews and so much more. Designer versus niche. We'll begin with designer. So when we think of designer fragrances, we think of Dior, Chanel, Burberry, Versace, that whole line of big box names that everyone knows. You can go in any department store, any Saks, Nordstrom, Macy's, any store that's around you that's a big name store, Ulta, Sephora, and you can find a lot of these designer names here, right? So these are more of the designer names. Now, they have a set price and they can be found very easily because again, they're everywhere. Niche, on the other hand, it's more exclusive. It's a little bit more difficult to get your hands on a niche fragrance. Now, their price varies tremendously because they usually use higher end, higher quality of fragrance and essential oils and things that they include within their fragrance. So of course they're gonna be higher. So if you find a designer fragrance or perfume for maybe 150, let's just go with 150, for a niche fragrance, you're probably gonna pay 500, 600, $2,000. You're gonna pay on the higher end for a niche fragrance. Now, the great thing about a niche fragrance is that they have a very unique line of fragrances and they cannot normally be found in these traditional you know stores that you buy the designer fragrances from some niche brands that you may be familiar with could be creed or homage and i mean the list continues to go on it's very rare that you can actually find them in one of the big box like traditional stores they're usually sold from the manufacturer the creator of set fragrance 